Thorne and Company would like to publish your little book, Miss Potter. But best not to get overly hopeful. I know publishing your book will not sell a great number of copies, but I think we can turn a small profit. My dear Mr. Warren, well, I'm pleased. Very pleased indeed. I should do everything possible to ensure that you've not made a mistake. <clears throat> Welcome to the sofa. Thank you. It's very nice <laughs> to be here. It's a lovely sofa indeed. Now, let's talk about Miss Potter. Did you read the books as a child? Oh, yeah, so much. Um, I had no idea what um, an important environmentalist she was in terms of the Lake Districts for England and pre land preservation, the preservation of uh, the farming of the fells. I had no idea that she had such great scientific achievements, and I had no idea that she was this, this accomplished naturalist that her sketches of the mushrooms and the fungus and all of that were still used in, they're still used in the museums today for reference. I mean, they're that particular, uh, they're that meticulously perfect. And she's such an important English icon, such an important woman. Did you feel any sort of pressure because she is such an important woman? Oh, good tracker? gosh, yes. <laughs> Oh, good gosh, yes. Terrified. Especially, you know, when I, you know, I went straight to the archives, I went straight to the, the basically doctorate PhDs on Beatrix Potter and spoke with them. And there was still so much ambiguity in terms of how you're going to analyze the available information. I mean, there's a lot of hearsay and there's a lot of firsthand accounts and we all know about, you know, how much weight to put on those in terms of, you know, truthfulness. And, and so it was always this negotiating process of, of hoping that you make responsible, appropriate decisions. I think I had something like 36 books at one time. Yeah, that was nice. It was fun to fill out the uh, the customs form when I was shipping it all home, too, I have to tell you. <laughs> See, people don't think about those practicalities, do they? About customs forms, filling things out like that. Oh, no, it's all glamour. It's all <laughs> glamour. Those suitcases full of Louis Vuitton. No. Now, you're back with an English accent, like you were for the two Bridget Jones films. Do you enjoy doing the English accent? Is it easy to do? I enjoy it. You know what? No, it's not easy to do. I'm terrible. I'm horribly... I forget everything, and, and, and it, I have a lot of help, and that's why I enjoy it. I love Barbara Berkeley. She's my mentor and, and one of my best friends, and she sits next to me and very diligently whacks me with her whip every time I mess up, so... Now, do you have, like, any words? Is there, like, a, a phrase or a sentence that you use to get into the accent? Yes. Do you know, Mr. Helis? I think I might... And there was this thing about it being so, you know, like if coming from down here that, that it just kind of brought me back to it. Wasn't that horrible? No, that, that was, was terrible. Great. See, I need Miss Berkeley right here to go, that was awful, do it again. <laughs> I thought it sounded great. Awful, I, Renee. I, it must be a nightmare because sometimes. <laughs> diction, diction, diction. Was she really that strict? Yes, but she always does it with a sly little wry wink in her eye, so I'm fine with it. But it's worked. It's worked. That's the important You're thing. You're very generous to say it. Say it again so Miss Barbara knows it. Okay, I'll say it. I'll say it. It worked. It's a great accent. Barbara, See, if you're watching, it worked. Spare me, please. Spare me, spare me. <laughs> you worked with Ewan McGregor, I think, three years ago, wasn't it now, with Down With Love. What was it like getting back together with him? That film was so much fun. And we had such a great time, and our processes are kind of the same, so we work really well together. I'm always, you know, laughing, and it's just a nice day at work, and I have so much respect for him. How about his big tash, though? That's got to put you off, surely. Come on. Come on. <laughs> There's some serious And that was hair. all McGregor, too, by the way. Here, that was all McGregor. Thank goodness we had a couple of months, he said, because you could get that thing going. And boy, did he. It was very <laughs> impressive. It was impressive. I couldn't it believe it was his own hair. impressive. Oh, my. I think other than Bertram and Father, you are the first man ever to step foot in this room. Now, would you like me to no, do? No, 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 no. Wigan is here. And if this is the best I can do for scandal at my age, I'm hardly worthy of my reputation for creativity. Uh. Here. My, but it's beautiful. Is it the new story? Miss Potter, is it the new story? Is it... Oh, I'm not going to tell you. It... Come over here. Ah, it's Jemima Puddleduck. Mm, it's the first drawing ever did of Jemima. Mm. I was uh, eight, I think. Jemima, stop that. Stop what? Just some silliness. He's definitely blonde. And so they had to give it a little bit of, you know, and thank God there was a train next to it. So I was just saying, oh, it's just soot, soot from the train. <laughs> <laughs> got, so some of the makeup from his tash was actually off on you. <laughs> That's a lovely image I'm getting, Renee, of that. It was hot. A an intimate moment. <laughs> I know a lot of the film was shot in the Lake District. Gorgeous. Was that your first time there? Yes. Yes, and I had this beautiful little house that I was sitting in, uh, that was sitting on top of one of the 
hills, the fells, I guess, right? And it looks out onto the, the meadows full of the sheep, and it was uh, springtime, so we all know what that means. <laughs> Lots of potential hot pots bouncing around on the side of the hill. It was horrifying <laughs> to drive by and then see the sign outside the pub saying, special lamb chops, you know, and you think, oh. But it was gorgeous. Didn't want to leave. Gorgeous. So we know you like filming here in the UK, but what do you do in your days off just to relax? I what come back do? here to see my friends that I make when I'm filming, of course. Is that what it is? Yes. And I go to my favorite restaurants and, you know, go to the West End and see all my friends that I've worked with in the West End plays. If I was to take Rennie out to a restaurant in London, mm -hmm. what, would be the, what would be the place that would just make you go, he's got it, that's the place for me? Oh, gosh, it depends. Yeah. Are we working or are we not working? Do no, we have we're time? not working. This can is we a have show. a cocktail? This is just a social thing. Yeah, we can chill out, relax, okay. have a drink. I'm a bit of a fan of the lychee martini over at Nopu, mm. and there's a little chippy shop. There's a couple of them that I like a lot. Brilliant, I like that. Oh yeah, they're really, really good. That's an inexpensive date then, isn't it? You said, just get your bag of chips. It should be great. Well, it depends. Not in London. Yeah. <laughs> I no, don't know point. what town you're talking yeah. about buying we chips We need to go in. into the country again, don't <laughs> we? Exactly. That's chips for a pound will be sorted. Exactly. Now, I I'd heard a rumour, right, that Working Title had bought the rights to the as-yet-unwritten third Bridget Jones novel. I heard that too. Right. Would you like to do it? I don't know. If you were me, would you do it? I don't, yeah, I think I probably would. But it'd have to depend on the script. That's exactly my answer. I it think has to it depend would depend on the, on the script. script. And it would depend on Helen Fielding, you know. Now, Jim TV, we always like to give you a little something. To... Is it a snow globe? It's not a snow globe. Oh. But I like the fact you remembered the snow globe from last I time. I think you should reissue it. Here you are. This is from, from us to you. It's weird, isn't I it? I know what this is. Do you? Yes, I do. It's a Ewan McGregor snow globe, and I'm going to open it up, and <laughs> no, it's no. going to... I know what it is. Oh, you do, you? Yes, and they're beautiful. Look. My goodness. Thank you. There you go. That's lovely. Thank you so no problem. much. No Come here. It's, it's lovely nice to meet you. to see you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for having me. Not a problem at all. And happy holidays, honey. And you too.